Hi, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on the speed bag. I'm going to be hitting the speed bag really, really slow, but I'm going to be hitting it in a lot of different ways. Um, and I'm also going to be hitting it with my knuckles, not the side of my hand. I never hit the speed bag with the side of my hand, or I never hit it back to me. And the reason why I do that is uh, because if I'm fighting you, or if I'm trying to protect myself against you, I'm not going to be hitting you with the side of my hand. Maybe MMA fighters will do be doing that but they're really not going to be doing it while they're actually stand up fighting they're most of the time when they're hitting you with the side of the hand is when you're on the ground and they're pounding you um, but anyway this is a going to be a great speed bag workout for you woman at home because it's going to really slow it down you really don't need to have um, gloves for this either also too I have mounted my speed bag a little bit higher um, a lot of people think it's going to be at chin height. I really don't think it should be at chin height, only because you don't want to ever hit the swivel. Um, you're going to do damage to your hand if you do that. The lower it is, you're going to be almost punching down on it. You want to be, I like punching up on it. So it's a little bit higher than my chin. Not much, but a little bit higher. Um, also too, I like to move around when I hit the speed bag. I don't like to get too close to it as well. I try to keep it at arm's length and um, it just works better for me and that's probably a good habit to use when you're in a fight you don't want to ever get too close to your opponent um, and like I said you don't want to be hitting it like this with the side of your hand because that's just something that you're not going to be doing in a regular fight and the side effects of hitting the speed bag um, in a slow um, deliberate manner is it's going to speed your you know your progress up